Hello everyone, uh, this is She Reviews and today we'll be comparing the uh, women's Red Wing Iron Rangers and the men's Red Wing Iron Rangers. Uh, last week I compared the Moctos. These are the men's 877 and these are the women's 3375. Uh, so this is the uh, Men's Iron Ranger in Ox Blood. Uh, this is number 8119. Um, these are my women's Honey Chinook uh, Iron Ranger boots, model number 3367. And uh, it is a Nubuck leather. Very nice, very soft leather. I did make a video comparing leathers if you're interested in finding out exactly how this leather is. Um, I highly recommend you go watch it. Iron Rangers are known for having this toe cap right here. What the Iron Rangers toe cap has is an extra piece of leather on top. Both these boots have the same piece of leather. And it makes them a lot more sturdy, um, a lot more rigid, which is really nice because when you're working and you're bumping your toes around, this actually protects you. It's nice and hard. Um, I've actually worn both to work and I've even ran my boots over with a two-wheeler, with a dolly, and um, didn't feel anything at all. So sometimes I'm clumsy at work, but it's nice because this actually serves a purpose. So the men's Iron Ranger boot is made out of a bull's leather or a male cow's leather. Um, it's a little more stiff. It's not as supple as the women's leather. Um, it feels just a little bit thicker, but um, I do want to purchase um, a little caliber to measure the leathers because I don't know for certain how much it is thicker if it is thicker or if it's just because it's a, a stiffer leather since it's a male cow or a bull um, but it is more difficult to break in than the women's boot I do remember when I first started breaking these in uh, more than anything the ankle area just felt really stiff um, and then it slowly started to give out whereas the women's Iron Ranger boot it just uh, is a lot more supple a lot softer and it was easier for me to break it in um, the place where I mostly felt the break-in and these boots was in the width these do run narrow and uh, over time they do stretch out uh, lengthwise I say they run true to size unfortunately I got these in a six and a half and I say unfortunately because as they stretched out a little bit there's a slight bit of heel slippage so I would say that my true size and Red Wing Heritage women's boots is a six and I should always stick to that. Um, I will do a video on sizing and I will talk about things I've learned. Uh, but one thing I can tell you is that these boots will feel snug initially widthwise, as they should, but they will conform to your feet. Leather does stretch out and that's one of the, that's some of the magic of leather. It ends up conforming and it ends up fitting like a glove, which is really, really nice. Um, from the tip of your longest toe to the end of the boot, you should have a thumb's width worth of room to allow for swelling. Uh, initially, what you should feel is your toes able to wiggle um, with a little bit of room lengthwise, but widthwise, it should be nice and snug, and it'll take about a week or so for the leather to really start giving out and really start breaking in. Uh, sizing for the men's. Um, so these boots are a size 4D, and um, when I first got these boots, lengthwise they felt fine, so they definitely run two sizes bigger than the women's boots. So ladies out there, if you're looking to purchase a man's red wing boot, I suggest going two sizes smaller, for the Iron Ranger at least. Um, last week I talked about how the men's mock toe runs about two and a half sizes bigger than the women's. Um, in the Iron Ranger, however, it runs about two sizes too big. Uh, these are a 4D, my toes fit nicely lengthwise. Um, the place where I noticed the most room is the perimeter inside right here it was the height was a little roomy um, it didn't it didn't sit on my foot the same way as the women's boot did so the height was a little roomy and the width was just a tad bit roomy but not much the length felt just right and to compensate I did put um, an insole in my boots and this insole has a nice uh, rubber backing to it and this is what is inside of the women's uh, line or the women's heritage line of boots actually. So all women's boots um, come with this leather cover over the actual uh, insole of the boot and beneath that leather cover there is a 
rubber sole just like that insole that i just pulled out of that other boot and when you put, first put them on initial impressions they are going to feel nice they're a lot softer than the men's the men's feel a lot more rigid and beneath that there is a layer of cork and beneath the cork um there is also a steel shank so the iron ranger boot does have a steel shank and the purpose of a steel shank is to allow for a little more stability and a little more support so that as the day goes on your foot doesn't feel so fatigued or as fatigued um, the iron ranger boot in both the men's and women's is known for having a 270 uh, goodyear weld and i'll bring this one closer so you can see but basically what that means is that there's this piece of leather right here that goes 270 degrees around the boot and it ends right here at the heel now this piece, though it looks very, very similar uh, to this piece, is plastic. And the purpose of this, um, and as you can tell the stitching too, the stitching ends at the heel. The purpose of that is that so if you need to get the heel resold um, or replaced, they don't need to remove this entire sole. They just need to remove the heel. You can see where the nails go through in these boots. It's pretty cool. Uh, but they don't poke you because they are bent once they're hammered in. Um, inside of this boot, let's see if you can see that. There is um, a piece of leather, a piece of vegetable tan leather that covers the heel. Um, and that sits above the leather insole. I don't know if you can see that. And what I really want to show you too is that both of these boots have a canvas lining inside. Um, whereas the moccasins or the mock toes are all leather. These have, let's see if you can see that, hopefully you can. These have a cloth covering inside. Same with the women's. Um, in the women's it's actually more visible, but same thing, 270 degree Goodyear weld. Um, and when it gets to the heel, you can distinctly see the difference in color. This is leather and this is plastic. And again, this helps them resole the heel by simply removing the heel at the entire sole of the boot. And I don't know why, but in the women's, you can't see the nails exposed. Maybe because they wanted to give it more of a feminine look. I'm not sure. Uh, something else that I would like to mention about the men's Iron Rangers versus the women's Iron Rangers is the weight. These are significantly heavier uh, than these. So I'm actually, I'm petite, I'm five foot one. And uh, when I walk around in these boots, they're a little clunky sometimes. Um, and I can definitely feel that, but I enjoy it. I like having a nice hefty boot on. And the women's also feel a bit heavy, but I don't notice it as much as I do when I have the men's on. Um, so weight wise, they're both nice and heavy boots, but the men's is definitely heavier than the women's. And they're very durable. I know there are some reviewers who say in the women's reviews that the um, the speed hooks have actually popped out, but I haven't had trouble with that. And these um, I purchased directly through a Red Wing authorized dealer. So I'm not sure if maybe some of those boots were second or maybe it was just a defect, but um, they feel pretty darn sturdy to me. Both of these boots also have a gusseted tongue um, and they both come up to the same level. So. A gusseted tongue allows the boot to be uh, more water resistant. Um, it makes it so that water doesn't get in so easily or uh, dirt, debris. Um, it's functional and again, these boots are both very versatile. Um, I like to beat them up at work and uh, I also play dress up with them. So sometimes I wear leggings, sometimes I wear dress dresses, sometimes I wear jeans. Um, shorts you can wear whatever you want they're they're super cool they're super awesome boots and um they are they're pretty water resistant so I've, I've worn both in the rain as you can tell these don't really have any stains though they've been wet before the water just uh, rolls off nicely and dries nicely um both of these boots do and the vibra mini look sole allows for you to wear these boots in uh, different conditions so they're not as slippery you have a little more traction. Uh, the men's Iron Rangers retail for $329.99 and the women's Iron Rangers retail for $319.99. And I believe they're worth every penny. They're a great investment. They're resolable. They're sturdy. 
and um, I highly, highly recommend them if you want something that's going to last you for years to come. I know people who say they've had theirs for six years, eight years, and um, all you need to do is resole them. Either send them back to Red Wing or send them to your local cobbler and get the sole switched. Uh, you don't have to get the same sole on there if you don't want to. There's a variety of soles that you can get on these boots, including the traction tread sole that the mock toes come with. I've seen them. You're welcome to look them up on Instagram. If there's anything that I missed or anything that I could have added, um, or if there are any questions that you have, please reach out. Please leave your feedback in the comments. I read them all and I really love to hear you guys' opinions on my videos. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I plan on making more videos that are of value and I really, really hope that you enjoy them all. Thank you again. Uh, this is She Reviews. Take care.